Hello and welcome to another episode. <laughs> welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel. I'm into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. You click play, so you're into that stuff too. So thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you're here. Well, today we're checking out the Snaptane SP7100. This one shoots in 4K. Okay, it, it feels really solidly built, you guys. Um, but we're gonna check it out. You know, you just gotta fly these things. You gotta check them out because what they say on the box and on the product listing, yeah, sometimes are two different things. <laughs> As you can see, we got a little snow here uh, and it is cold, but we out here, y'all, we out here. Uh, conditions are pretty stable. So we're gonna go ahead and do the darn thing right about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acted kinda innocent this morning. You don't wanna talk it out. I agree the talking feels pointless. Still it happens every night. You know that I need ya, but I'm so sick of this. Not sure I can leave ya. It'd be so hard to quit, but every night that we explode, wish I could walk out that door. Hate that I need. On dancing, soon we'll burn down into ashes. Cause you keep playing with matches. Hate that I want you. Yeah. Running. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the video. Stop the video. We gotta talk about this, man. So, <laughs> when companies send products for review, you know, I feel like I have an obligation to give you my real experience, my real observations. And that's what I always give you. If I really like a product, you're gonna know about it. But if I don't, you're gonna know that too. And if there's some issues, you're definitely gonna know that. And with the Snaptane SP7100, in my experience, there's some problems, y'all. So initially, Snaptane sent me one drone. I tested it. I went back to Snaptane and I said, hey, X, Y, and Z are not performing the way that they should. Snaptane comes back and said, okay, I'll send you another one. We'll send you another one. That's probably just a lemon. So they sent me another drone. I went out and tested said drone. And once again, same issues. So what you're about to see is a reflection of that. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and make that plain. All right, roll the video. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Gadget Inspector. Okay, you guys, we are all connected and ready to go. We got the drone powered up. We're in the app. I uh, just want to point out, man, that I'm wearing my PGY Tech gloves here. Man, I highly, highly uh, recommend these. I'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, these are perfect because you have these felt tips where you can still... Uh, you know move things on the screen and utilize your your smartphone screen and you can flip up uh three digits here your thumb and two two of your fingers here you can flip those up so you can gain access to more of a tactile feeling but anyway don't want to use this as an infomercial but i always want to recommend these especially to those of you that are in cold temperature uh, uh geographic areas like i am here in the midwest well anyway it's starting us off here we have to do a compass calibration every time you power on the drone it's going to require you to do a compass calibration so let's go ahead and do it all right we're just going to do the horizontal axis first and i believe with this one we are going to get a beep once we have successfully calibrated the horizontal uh axis now we're going to point the drone up and we're going to do the same thing we're going to rotate until we hear a beep from the the uh, app basically three uh, revolutions okay calibrate it all right and you can see what the lights are doing blue in the front green flashing in the back let's set it on down now it's going to actually step you right through this it's going to calibrate the gyroscope right from the app you don't even have to do that so we're going to swipe to the right and it's calibrating the gyro okay and calibration of the gyro is just going to keep the uh the drone level okay so you want to make sure it's on a flat level surface that's flat enough okay 
we heard the uh, the controller beep here that indicates that we have enough satellites to launch you want at least seven uh, before you launch we have 12 and you can see that there we are in GPS mode but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get in the air man we're gonna get up in the air and see how this thing does first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap off a photo there we go next thing I'm gonna do is uh, start the video okay video has started now we have to unlock the motors so I'm gonna hit unlock there on the screen and you can see the motors have started and I'm gonna hit auto takeoff here on the controller and the SP 7100 is in the air you see it lifts off uh, oh that's about three feet or so I'm gonna put it up a little bit more okay and I recommend when you launch your drones for the first time let them hover for a minute not a minute maybe 30 seconds just to make sure everything goes okay all right especially with these budget drones you want to make sure it's actually going to hold its position as it should uh, with uh, GPS and this one actually has downward facing sensors as well so at this height the sensors should be uh, assisting in uh, positioning the drone and as you can see it is holding its position rather rather well I'm impressed by that okay the video feed here um, looks okay it's a little bit uh, shaky and the reason why I say that is because I just tested a drone that had electronic image stabilization the MJX bugs 20 and there's a big difference I'll put a card up so you can check out that uh, first flight and impressions video but anyway let's go ahead and go on up and out let's fly it <laughs> nice okay I'm gonna let off the sticks there and let it hover okay now this one has a tiltable camera so I'm gonna tilt the camera down okay I think am I using the wrong one? Oh, that's speed I'm sorry <laughs> okay the dial on the right trigger is for speed uh, and it's not showing me what speed we're in as we do that which is weird uh, but on the left is how you can tilt the camera and you can see how it kind of ratchets downward and we're gonna pan it back up okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and snap off a photo and you can do that while the drone is continuing to uh, record video. Okay, let's fly this thing around a little bit. Not sure which mode I'm flying in. <laughs> I'm going to give it a little more altitude. We do have some trees there. Just want to make sure we clear those. We are at, uh, looks like about 60 meters. So that's about 180 feet or so. So you can see the telemetry across the top there. We've got, uh, we're vacillating between 12 and 13 satellites. Okay, looks like the drone is moving around a little bit. I'm going to push forward. Push forward and we can see our speed. The hor horizontal speed is about 6 meters per second there. And I'm just pushing forward. Just pushing forward on the sticks. And, uh... No breakup in the feed, so pretty good uh, range here so far. Okay, letting off the sticks. And I'm just going to turn if I can. Okay, it's wobbling up there a little bit. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel very, very comfortable. All right, since we're out there, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, that's wobbling in a lot, guys, isn't it? I'm going to hit return to home now. Okay, let's do a return to home. I'm just going to hit that on the controller. All right, I always like to test the return to home just to make sure that's performing the way it should. It's probably one of the most important fail safes uh, that you can have on a drone. And here it comes. And, uh, whoa. Whoa. Looks like the drone, looks like it's moving around quite a bit, doesn't it? I don't know if I like that very much. All right, let's just watch it come on in. Okay. 
And uh, I'm gonna pan the camera down. I believe I can still do that. Yep, panning the camera down a little bit. Okay, drone is returning to home. There it is above us and coming down. It does look like it is to toilet bowling there to me. Um, and we can see indications of that on the screen here. But let's see how close it gets. Yeah, that's toilet bowling, you guys. I don't know. That's not good at all. Look at it. Okay, let's see if we can cancel this because that looks dangerous. Okay, I cannot cancel giving a stick input. So I had to hit the return to home button. You saw what that thing was doing. Look at it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, <laughs> bring this over and I'm going to land it, okay? I don't like what it's doing right now. Look at that, that's hands off. This is what the drone is doing right now. That is unsafe. This is what you call unsafe, you guys. I'm gonna land it, okay? And uh, this is why I like to do my flight tests in a wide open field like this. Uh-oh. And my phone did come off of the, uh, the mount, as I suspected that it would. But I'm gonna get it on the ground here and then we'll figure out the rest, okay? All right, let's get down. Jeez, oh, Pete's, I tell you what. I'm letting off of the sticks now. Let's see what it does. Last time I did this, it started the toilet bowl. And I think it is doing it again. All right, you guys, this is a no-go. This is a no-go. I'm gonna bring it back, see if I can get it back here safely, and I'm gonna get it on the ground and wrap up this video. Now, when you let off the sticks, that drone should remain in one spot, relatively. This one likes to move in a sort of a circular uh, pattern, and that's what, that's what I'm referring to when I say toilet bowling. It should not do that. Okay, did we freeze up here? Not sure what's going on with the drone. Let's see if we can fly it back. Oh no, the app crashed. Let's see if we can get back in there. Okay, we are disconnected. Not sure what's happening. We'll see if the drone returns to us. We'll see if the drone returns to us. Hopefully so. I don't really feel like going to hunt down a drone today. Ah, there it is. It's, looks like it's coming back. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acted kinda innocent this morning. You don't wanna talk it out. I agree the talking feels pointless. Still it happens every night You know that I need ya But I'm so sick of this Not sure I can leave ya 